Guys, today we are going to discuss about how to create MongoDB database backups and restore them. Now, there are a couple of ways to do that. What we are going to use is MongoDump and MongoRestore. MongoDump is used to create dumps for the MongoDB database and MongoRestore is used to restore those dumps. So, let's get started and see how to do that. So, I'm going to start my MongoD. Uh, so, let's get started. MongoD, I'm going to use... Uh, the different port than the default one so maybe 27314 you can specify any port you want and the db path where my data directories are stored i think it's a d data yeah so mongodb started on port 27314 you can see here waiting for connection and support 27314 so let's connect to this one so i'm going to connect to this database Mongo port and I guess it's 27314 yeah so let's see what's there in that database show DBs so we have four databases one is capstone crunchbase flights and products now the local one is created by the MongoDB itself so let's see one of them uh, I'm gonna use capstone so use capstone Let's see how many collections are there in the capstone database. So there are models and tasks. Only two collections are there. System.indexes is created by MongoDB, I guess, for indexing. So let's see what is there in tasks. How many documents are there in tasks collection? So we can get that using db.tasks.count. Now there are 10,026 documents in tasks collection under capstone database. Now what we are going to do here is we're going to take a backup of all those databases. So how you can do that is using Mongo dump. Now there are various ways to do that. So you have to start uh, the Mongo dump on the port on which your database is running. Now it's a 27314. Now MongoDump can be used to create ba uh, backups of all the databases or specific database if you want. So we are starting the MongoDump on port 27314 and I'm not going to specify any particular database because I will need the dumps for all the databases. Now MongoDump also require where you want to store those dumps. So let's create a directory for that. So I'm going to go and maybe E drive. I'm going to create M dumps and dumps one directory. Okay. So now I'm going to use Momo dump utility to dump all those dumps in this M dumps folder 27314 and use this directory for dumping all those data. I think we are good to go. Now, if I use this command, it will dump all the databases that are there so let's see okay it says okay yeah i made a mistake here you have to specify the out option here to specify we want to store our dumps in this directory so see it created all those dumps so if you see in e drive we will have an undamps folder yeah it's there so all those databases are extracted here now rather than doing all those uh, backups of all those databases what we can do is suppose you want just a uh, backup of one database so you can do that also I'm gonna delete this thing Suppose I don't need the dump of all those databases, the specific one, so you can specify here DB, which database you want, uh, I will say just capstone. So now in this case, it will just create dump for capstone database. So now you will see just capstone is created. Now if you remember, there was two collections in capstone database, so if you see db dot okay you can say show collections there are models and tasks inside 
uh, capstone database. Yeah, inside capstone there are models and tasks to collections. Suppose I just want one of these collections rather than all the collections inside the database. So you can specify that also. So I'm going to delete this one again. And this time we just gonna specify which particular collection we need. So collection and I'm gonna say I need just tasks collection of capstone database. So see it just created that tasks. You won't see models collection here. So we have successfully dumped our collection inside using Mongo dump. Now let's see how to restore it. So now we can stop our database that's what's running. And I'm gonna also stop this Mongo D Mongo. Now to restore this database is what I'm gonna do here is uh, now I'm gonna restore this to a different database. So let's create a new data directory so I will create a new data directory here in e drive maybe I can call it new DB yeah so let's restore it into this one so I'm gonna start the MongoD with the port number you can specify anyone two seven say three one five this time and I'm gonna use uh, DB path as this one So the database has started on port 27315. Now we're gonna restore that capstone database and the collection tasks into this newly created uh, database, uh, which stores files in new DB directory. So if you connect to this database, there will won't be any uh, collections or database inside this. So if I specify Mongo and connect to this one, 27315, there won't be anything. Uh, you can see if I show DBs, this is the local database that is created by MongoDB by default. So now we're going to restore those dumps inside this new database. So to do that, we're going to use Mongo Restore Utility. Mongo Restore. And I'm going to specify the port on which the server is running, 27315. And then where the dumps are stored. So the dumps are stored in E drive. And I think it's M dumps. So it's restored. So now if you see, show DBs, Capstone database is there. And you can use this. Capstone database. Let's see how many collections are there. It should be only one because we exported just one tasks. Yeah, system.indexes is by default. Let's see how many documents are there in task collection. It should be 10,026. So we can find it out by this command db.tasks.count. Yep, it's 10,026. So this is how we can create uh, the dumps and restore them using Mongo Restore. I hope you find it beneficial.